Hello everyone, my name is Butch. I just got back from a wonderful, wonderful three-day, two-night vacation in the island of Boracay. Yes, Boracay. Now, why did I decide to make this blog? Um, primarily because I've gotten a lot of questions from friends about my travels. So, one of the questions that was asked was, what were the requirements needed to go to Boracay? The very most important requirement was to submit an RT-PCR test. That was one. A health registration form that you have to apply, that you have to fill up online. You have to submit a hotel, your hotel reservation and a round trip ticket to touristbaracay.com. Everything can be uploaded there. You send it via email. And then within 24 hours, you'll receive your QR code. The QR code is the most important thing because you, any airline would not let you board your flight without the QR code. Okay, very important. You need the QR code. What's mostly difficult to do or submit is the RT-PCR code because it's very, very expensive. It's, from where I got it, it was 3,400 pesos. You know, some could go as high as 38, 3,900 pesos. So that's a lot of money without even leaving yet. Now, what I found out after my trip from my fellow travelers in Boracay was that you could actually go to a Department of Tourism affiliated hospital, such as the Philippine Government Hospital and the Philippine Children's Medical Center in Manila, for a hefty discount. You can go there and get tested for only 750 pesos or 900 pesos. That's a major savings from what I paid. So... Traveling to all these requirement-stricken places such as Palawan, Cebu, Bohol, Baguio, and Boracay will now be easier because of the D D Department of Tourism's um, help to getting people traveling all over again since the pandemic started. Now, once you get there, it's a blast because it's beautiful. You know, the island has rested very well for the past year, year and a half because of the prior to prior to the pandemic, there was a six month hiatus where the president ruled out, you know, no more visitors and then had major construction work going on. Anyway, I haven't been in 25 years. So when I got back, I was like wowed all over again. It was a magnificent, magnificent time of my life. I had a blast. There was hardly anybody on the beach. Hotels are at a major discount. I stayed at Hannon Regency Hotel. And what normally was a 14,000 peso a night room, I only paid 3,500 pesos a night. Major savings. And, and I got upgraded to a beachfront hotel room with pool access. It was just wow. Um, it's sad that I didn't stay any longer, but I'm glad that I went after 25 years. Now, what to expect? Because of the pandemic, not many people are going. There are only what used to be 18 flights a day internationally and domestically going to Boracay. Now there are only three flights a day. Although, one of the things that I noticed was that there were still a lot of shops that were closed because, of course, there's hardly anybody there. But those that are open, business is booming, you know. Like several clubs on the Strip were open until midnight, some even past midnight. And people were still dancing. Uh, social distancing was also being properly um maintained over then and observed people were wearing masks so it, it was good that the standard protocols were being observed um so what else uh, a lot of tourist companies will be offering you um pickup service from the airport to the hotel and back i suggest you don't you do away from that because it's too costly like my hotel offered 875 for a one-way trip 875 where if you did it yourself it was only 150 from the airport to the to the port and then another 350 pesos to 
to the island itself. So that's 500 and then another 100 to get on an e-trike to your hotel. So major savings there. On the way back, I only paid 150 for the e-trike and then um, I paid two, no, 140 for the boat back to Katiklan. So major savings. Anyway, I hope that helped. Um, if you have any more questions, just write me a note and I'll do my best to respond to you in a very short time. Thank you and have a great day.